Hello and welcome back. I uh, I hope you're all well. Um, keeping well and obviously this time at the moment. Last video I did was sort of a 15 minute, just so you know, if you can't see this black, I have been painting all morning, so it is very hard to get off. Um, yeah, so the last video I did was obviously 15 minutes long. This one, I want to make it fast, snappy, short, snappy. Um, I'm going to do a video on my five top tips for an interview. Um, like I said, I'm going to make it nice and quick. Um, I'm going to do a few little segments in between each one. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to do a bit of an alternative to sort of a long video. So if you guys can let me know whether you prefer the short ones or the long ones where I talk a bit more. Um, then be sure to sort of comment down below and let me know. But yeah, here we go. Hello. So I have reached the first point um, of what I'm going to talk about. Okay, so I'm going to make this, like I said, nice and snappy, nice and short. Uh, so number one is to be yourself. It sounds cliche, I know, um, but it's so important to be yourself because if you're open, you're honest, um, you por portray yourself, the talents that you have, um, and the passion that you have for that job, that's going to be easier later on when you're in that role to demonstrate that. If you, you know, make up talents that you may have that you're not as good at or, you know, over, you know, overcompensate for what you are, that's going to be harder to prove later on. Another great thing about being yourself is the assessor will know then if you are being truthful, whether you are really fit for that job. And the last thing anybody wants is to be in a job that they don't enjoy and want to get out of. So the best possible way that you can put yourself in a job that you want to be in is to be yourself so the assessor can make a good judgment of whether you should be in that job or not. Okay, here we are, number two. Number two is to know about the company that you're applying for. For me, I think it is so important to go into an interview expressing the passion that you have for that business and the opportunity. Because if you're just going in there and you're talking about the opportunity, um, that's great, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I think if you know about the business, you're able to drop a few facts in there. I'm not saying go out and learn the whole balance statement, how much they turn over, etc. You know, just a few of their stakeholders, perhaps, what the purpose of the business is, the values, um, because that's going to then be easier to bring that into conversation. You know, oh, I like this business because, you know, you have a customer driven value or, you know, so that's for me is to know about the business. You know, maybe the date that they're established. Oh, well, yeah, well, back in 1990 when it was established. So, yeah, know about the business you're applying for, um, as well as obviously the job interview and uh, the job opportunity. Again, sounds cliche, I know, um, but it's so important to, throughout the interview, stay as positive and on track as you can. Um, I know at times the interview may may sort of make you feel that it's not going the way that you want it to. You know, you may be thinking, does the assessor like me? Oh, shouldn't I have said that? What do they think to that? The important thing is to stay, stay positive, stay focused and stay, you know, in the mindset that you, you came in because you never know what the assessor is thinking trying to work it out or trying to guess is just a you know a risky game and it could turn you sort of you know swing the way that you want the rest of the interview to go so stay positive even because you never know what they're thinking okay so you may be thinking that they're you know not liking you but they could be loving you okay so just stay focused stay positive stay on track and don't try and read into the assessor's mind or the the person that's interviewing you because you don't know Number four, okay, um, it is get to know the group. 
this for me is a really important one. Um, so you may be on an all day assessment um, where you're going to be in a group all day. It's so important to get to know the group at the start, get to know importantly their names, try and remember them if you can, potentially some of their interests, what they study potentially. Um, because you never know, some of these, I've had an experience with this, some of these may be, you know, your future um, colleagues in the future. So. If you're going in there and you want to express that you're good at communication, you're good at teamwork, you're a team player, um, getting to know the group that you're going to be spending the day with. Maybe, you know, if it's not a group, then it will be the interviewer. Um, if it is a group, small group, big group, try and get to know them because you are going to be spending the whole day with them. Um, so you want to express your communication, your team building, you know, your in incorporating everyone. You want to show that off as much as you can. So, uh, so get to know the group. Okay, hello. Fifth and final point of today is don't give up, okay? This is the most important one for me, um, is to don't give up. The application process, you're going to get turned down, but that's good. Take it as a positive, use it as a learning curve, okay? A good thing to do is to ask for feedback. If you don't get the job or you don't get selected, why? What was it about your CV? What was it about your interview the um, that wasn't good enough, that needed improving. Ask for that feedback and then improve on that for the future. Um, quick side note, my job that I got now, I was the first reserve for. If I had let my head drop, then I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in now, which is obviously with the job. So it's so crucial. Use it as a positive. If you do get turned down, don't let it knock you back. Use it as a positive. Use it to improve yourself and just stay positive. Um, and don't give up. Don't give up on it because you will get that job that you want. Hello, I am uh, finished in the same spot as last time. It's becoming a trend of me sort of ending the videos here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, that was just a quick, like I say, quick fire. A uh, couple of five things that I think will help in interviews. Um, they can help in any interviews, um, but I especially wanted to do this. Obviously, there may be people out there that have lost jobs during the um, COVID-19 sort of situation. Um, so this is my way of sort of saying, trying to help people out that may have lost their job um, in order to, you know, get another one if possible. Um, there's more, obviously, tips out there. These are just my five ones that I believe in. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you do prefer sort of the longer videos or these shorter kind of ones, then let me know down in the comments sort of below. Um, but yeah, until next time, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.